Now let us try to find the GCD of 10 and 5 using the CIC algorithm. So the first step is to find the minimum among M and N and assign the minimum value to T. So in this case the minimum value is 5. So we assign the value 5 to T and uh, we move on to the second step. So in the second step what we do is uh, we find the remainder of the division M by N and uh, see if the remainder is 0 or not. So M by N m divided by n uh, m by t i mean so we find the remainder of the division of m by t here m is equal to 10 so 10 mod 5 is equal to 0 so since it is equal to 0 we move on to the third step if it weren't equal to 0 then we would have to go uh, gone to the, we would have to go to uh, the fourth step so here it is equal to 0 so we move on to the third step so in the third step we perform n mod t uh, since uh, n is equal to 5 and t is also equal to 5, uh, we get the value, the remainder as equal to 0. So if the value is equal to 0, then we would have, we should just return the value of t as the GCD. So t is here uh, 5, so the value of t which is equal to 5, it is nothing but the GCD of uh, 10 and 5. So GCD of 10 and 5 is uh, equal to 5. So in this way, we uh, keep on applying the values. Uh, if say both of them in this case, this was the simplest example I could have given. Uh, let's try another example, say, so here let's try to find out the GCD of 4 and 5. So the first step is finding out the minimum among 4 and 5 and assigning the value of the minimum to t. So here t is equal to 4. Then in the next step, we uh, find m mod t, that is 4 mod 4. So since it is equal to 0, we move on to the next step. In the next step, we perform n mod t, n is equal to 5 and mod t. So in n mod t, here we get uh, the value as 1. It is not equal to 0, so we move on to the uh, fourth step. And in the fourth step, we need to decrement the value of t by 1. So now t is decremented by 1, so t becomes equal to 3 now. So again, we go back to the uh, second step and uh, we perform m mod t. So m is still equal to 4 and uh, t now is equal to 3. So here it becomes equal to 1. Now uh, since it is not equal to 0, we need to directly go to the fourth step and decrement the value of t by 1. So we go to the fourth step and decrement the value of t by 1. Now t becomes equal to, uh, it is it was 3, so now it is equal to 2. Uh, now again we go back to the second step and perform the same thing. Uh, so now say uh, we perform m mod t. Now m is again 4 and uh, t it is reduced by 1, so it is equal to 2 now. So the result of this is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, we need to go to the third step. So we go to the third step and we perform n mod t. n, the value of n is still equal to 5 here. n is still equal to 5. So we perform uh, 5 mod t, that is 2. And uh, the value is again, it is equal to 1. Uh, so since it is not equal to 0, we go to the fourth step and decrement the value of t by 1. So now uh, t becomes equal to 2 minus 1, that is it is equal to 1. Uh, after decrementing the value of t by 1, we again go back to the uh, go back to this step and we perform the same. So m mod t, m is equal to 4 and uh, t is again, it is equal to 1 because it is decremented by 1 here. And uh, here the result is equal to 0. Now we go to the third step because uh, m mod t is equal to 0. So we need to go to the third step. And in the third step, we perform n mod t. So now the value of t uh, is equal to 1 and uh, phi mod 1 is nothing but equal to 0. So since both the values of uh, m mod t and n mod t are equal to 0, we need to return the value of t as uh, the GCD. So here t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 1 is itself the GCD of uh, 5 and 4. Yeah, 4 and 5, yeah, whatever. So the value of uh, that the GCD of 5 and 4 is uh, it is equal to 1. So in this way, we need to apply the GCD, I mean, uh, CIC algorithm, and uh, hence we can find out the values, uh, the values of GCDs uh, of any given, any two given numbers. There is a third method, uh, which is called the middle school method, uh, which is also used to find the GCD of two given numbers. Now let's have a look at that particular algorithm. So this is the third algorithm which we can employ in order to find out the GCD of two given numbers. So it is called the middle school algorithm. So the first step of middle school algorithm is to find the prime factors of M. And the second step would be to find the prime factors of N. And after having found out the prime factors of M as well as N, 
we find the common prime factors of uh, both m and n. And then after finding out the common prime factors of m as well as n, uh, we just uh, find the product of those common factors and just return the product as GCD of m and n. Uh, I know it did not go too well. Now let's try to uh, understand this algorithm by taking an example. So we uh, try to again find out the GCD of 36 and 27, the trivial example. Uh, so we'll apply the prime, uh, that is the middle school algorithm in order to find out the GCD of 36 and 27 again. So the first step is to find out the prime factors of uh, 36. So how do you find the prime factors? You just keep on dividing it with the lowest prime number that is 2. And if it is divisible, you divide it with it. If it is not divisible, then you uh, search for the next prime number and then uh, divide it with uh, whatever number you have. So 36, we first divide it with 2 uh, because 2 is the, it is the first uh, prime number. So it is divisible. So again, I divide it with uh, 2, I get 30, I, I get 18. And then again, I divide it with 2, I get 9. So 2 nines are 18. Then uh, since it, 9 is not uh, divisible by 2, I go to the next prime number. The next prime number is uh, 3. So I divide 9 with 3 and uh, again 3 is divided with uh, 3. So these numbers that is 2, 2, 3, 3 are the prime factors of 36. Similarly, we try to find the prime factors of n, n that is nothing but 27. So we'd first find the, the, the lowest minimum number, I mean the lowest uh, prime number uh, using which we can divide uh, 27 that is 3. So we again divide uh, 27, so it is uh, uh, 9 threes are 27, so here we have 9. Again, we perform the same thing again and again, and we uh, find the prime factors of 27. So 27 has uh, the prime factors 3, 3, and 3, and uh, 36 has the prime factors 2, 2, and 3, 3. So we then find the common prime factors of uh, both, the, uh, both the numbers. So in this case, it has 2, 2, 3, 3, and in this case, it has 3, 3, 3. So the common prime factors, they would be 1, 3. Okay, so we have uh, 1, 3 as the common prime factor and another 3 as the common prime factor. So we have 2, 3s as the common prime factor. So the common prime factors are 3 and 3 because uh, here we have 2, 3s common and here we can take those 2, 3s as common. So these two threes and these two threes are common in both the numbers. I mean, the both the prime factors of both the numbers. So uh, we need to just find the prime factors and uh, find the product of those prime factors. Since the prime common for prime factors are three and three, we find the product of three and three. So three and three, that is the product is equal to nine and just return the product that is nine as the GCD. So the GCD of uh, 36 and 27 is again equal to nine. In this way, we uh, use the middle school method in order to find the GCD of two given numbers. So that's it with this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll uh, jump into the concept of uh, analysis of uh, a given algorithm. Thanks for watching.